Welcome back to Fishing Planet, and today we're going to be trying to catch our first ever Wells catfish on the Tiber River in Italy. All right, so we're going to be using three rods again, and we're going to be using two shiners and one cut bait. So I'm hoping that eventually we figure out what these things are hitting on, because right now I'm not exactly sure. Meanwhile, I'm going to try and catch some European brown trout. It says they hit spoons, so we'll see. This is kind of the only spoon that I have that's this weight, which is the three quarter ounce. I do have some that only have a single hook, but with a treble. I believe this is the only one that I have. All right, so it's a little bit early right now, seven o'clock in the morning. We got a little bit of time to kill kind of, and um, we're looking at roughly two hours until we start getting some bites. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on this uh, crankbait here and I'm gonna cast a couple of times to try and catch something else. All right, so we got ASP out here. We got chub out here. We got common barbell. There are in fact carp out here and um, we might try and potentially catch one of them. But the only way that we can really catch them is, wait a second, did it say spoons? No, that's this one here. Yeah, the only way we can catch the carp is gonna be on the bottom rods. We can't actually catch them on a, a spinning rod. But then we got roach, we got some brown trout, creek brown trout. Oh, that would be cool, the Croatian carp. That's a sweet looking carp out there. So what I might do is take off the shiner on one of the rods and maybe put some dough balls on it. That would be pretty cool. Now this, we might be able to catch some European brown trout, guys. That would be sweet. Narrow spoons, nano spoons, spinners, soft baits, crank baits. We might be able to catch these European brown trout while we're sitting here waiting for a hit. And there's also some eel, some European perch, some marble trout. Ooh, those would be cool too. And of course the Wells catfish, which is what? Our most sought after animal, or I should say, species of fish is so i'm gonna switch out rod number three to some dough balls that's what i think i'm gonna do all right so hopefully we can catch ourselves some nice carp that'd be pretty cool if we can catch one while we're sitting here waiting to catch a big wells catfish all right well we've been fishing for about 20 minutes now and we've yet to have a single hit but I'm kind of glad because then it shows you how good it actually is when you catch a lot of fish. Whoa, 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 fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh my God, first fish. Yes, first fish is on guys. First fish is on. Oh, that's awesome. The, we have a shiner on here, so I don't really know what kind of fish this is gonna be, but there's a really good chance it could be our first ever Wells catfish. the Wells catfish oh my god he was right there dude that is so not fair in real life if a fish jumped off like that I would totally jump right in the water and grab that thing we got robbed I'm saying we got robbed on that that was such a rip oh man he wasn't that big though Okay, I want to do some uh, adjusting to the HUD here. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Is it a carp? We might have a carp on. This could be our first carp, guys. I honestly don't even know what it is, but it could be our first carp. What'd we catch? Our first carp, common carp, 14 inch, 1.7 pounds. All right. Well, there we go. First fish in the boat. All right, so we weren't getting hardly any hits. And what I decided to do is change the time to one o'clock in the afternoon, which is when the fish should be hitting. And now I'm really looking forward to seeing if we can get some fish because it should be prime time. Yes, 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 yes. Fish on, fish on. Yes, fish on. Finally!
This should be our first official Wells catfish. Oh, another fish on. Oh, we're not going to be able to get both guys. This is a nice fish coming in here. It's going to be our first ever Wells catfish. I can already see it coming in right now. Come on, come on. Let's get him in. There we have it. First Wells catfish. We're going to keep it 31 inches and six. Actually, I don't remember what it was. 31 inches, eight pounds. So I was actually pretty close. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, we got him. We got him. This is going to be our second Wells catfish, guys. Oh, man, this is awesome. I am loving trying to fish like this without having all the stuff on the uh, on the screen popping up. This is so much more realistic. And I don't even have to pay attention to it. I can just look at my rod bending and tell how much he's fighting. Oh, what did we just catch? A trophy marble trout. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. Look at that. Wow. That is absolutely stunning there. A trophy marble trout. One of those things where it was completely unplanned. Like, I had no clue we were going to catch something even remotely that looked like this. We're, we're trying to catch Wells catfish here, and we catch a trophy marble trout. And a 22-incher at that. 22 inches, 5.3 pounds. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep him. All right, now we're finally getting in some action. We got our first Wells catfish and a trophy marble trout. So let's cast out here and see if we can't get some more. All right, so we know there's definitely Wells catfish here. That was not the biggest. 31 inches, 8 pounds is definitely not the biggest, but it's not too shabby either. All right, now let's get back out there and try and catch some more. Man, that was awesome. We literally were sitting there for 25 minutes real time. Didn't get a single hit. And then finally, we almost had that one Wells catfish that got off. And then we ended up catching a carp. But that was in like 25 minutes real time. And now we moved over here, fished for another five minutes, didn't catch anything. Changed the time to a couple hours ahead. And within five minutes, we already caught two fish just like that. So that's pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna let it sink a little bit this time, all the way down to the bottom. And then slowly start cranking that in. Give it a couple of flutters every now and then. Bring it all the way in. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Real faster, real faster. That's the one problem about this. Which rod is it? It's two, it's two. All right, fish on. It's funny that I said fish on. Oh, really? Now you're gonna start pounding it like crazy? Well, we got this guy coming in pretty good here. Another Wells catfish in the boat. 30 incher, seven pounds right there. Another nice fish. All right, let's get this fish in. Another fish on, ooh. When you set the hook and you feel the drag ripping out, that's when you know you got a nice fish. Wow. This is a solid fish. Holy guys, I think this might be what we're looking for. Oh man, look at that thing pull. Wow. He's got the rod bent and the drag just coming out. <laughs> oh man, look at him fight down there. Holy. This is a big fish. Look at the size of this fish. I can't even get him up. Oh my god, a trophy Wells catfish! Heck yeah, 41 inches! 19 pound, 41 inch trophy Wells catfish right there. Oh, I could tell it was gonna be a beast of a fish. Look at the size of that thing. Holy, that's what we wanted right there, guys. I had a feeling that was gonna be the one. I had a feeling. And we were right. We were definitely right. Oh man. Let's try and get ourselves a cool picture of this fish. Ooh, that's gonna turn out really good, just like that. Wow. Look at that. Beast of a fish. Just a slob. All right, I think that's gonna turn out pretty good, just like that. We'll take one more. All right, good enough. And let's keep them. 41 inch 20 pound trophy wells catfish in the boat man that was awesome the fight on that fish guys 
I can't tell you how awesome that was. When you set the hook and you just feel the drag ripping out almost instantly. Man, that feeling is so cool. I honestly don't even want to throw at this spoon because we're getting so much action, but I feel like that's actually giving us good luck. So if we throw at the spoon, then that's when the fish are going to hit. And if that's the case, then let's do it. Wait, what? Did we actually have a bite? I think we might have finally had a bite. Well, let's try that again. I mean, I didn't feel it hit. Whether or not it came at it, that could have happened, but I definitely didn't feel it hit. Because if I felt any tension, I would have set the hook. There we go, there we go, fish on. Rod three. Ooh, another good fish. Another good fish. Although he's coming straight to shore, isn't he? Eh, maybe not quite as big as the last one. But it's another good fish. What kind of fish did we catch? A trophy European brown trout. Are you kidding me? Here I am sitting there casting out cast after cast after cast to try and catch this fish on our bass rod. <laughs> and we couldn't get one. And now we just catch one on this rod, which is a shiner just sitting out there um, on the bottom. A trophy 20 inch, three pound trophy European brown trout. That's exactly the fish that we're trying to catch. Like, not even a little bit different. That is the exact fish that I've been trying to catch this whole time. <laughs> that is awesome. A trophy European brown trout. All right, let's take a picture of him. Let's see how this looks. All right, there we go. We'll go with that. It's so weird that when I take the picture, the guy like jumps backwards. <laughs> But anyways, that's going to work for now. And let's get out of here. Take one last look at this magnificent trophy European brown trout. And let's keep it. For 256 cash. So yeah, we caught him on a shiner with just a, a sinker. Basically just a wolf river rig. That's, that's what we call it at least. But let's cast back out there and try and get something else. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually... I'm, I'm absolutely mind boggled at this point because the fact we were trying to cast so many times to catch at least one of those and we never even got a single hit. Well, we might have gotten one hit towards the end there. There's a chance we might have had a hit from a European brown trout, but is it just me or do we already have three trophy fish from this spot? We do. We have two trophy trout and a trophy wells catfish. I kind of forgot what that first trout was. It was some kind of different trout, but two trophy trout and a giant wells catfish all right so this hasn't really done much has it i think we might have actually caught one fish on it potentially come on fish Whoa, 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 look at that, look at that, guys, oh my god, look at that, that fish is just going wild out there, did you see that thing just go straight down, what did we catch, another trout, nope, a young Wells catfish, well, he acted like he was a fighter, and he definitely was, but he's not that big. He's a 24-inch, 4-pound Wells catfish, and 148 cash. So, just by us um, reeling in that lure and casting it out in a different location, it changed the outcome of this uh, rod. So, that's pretty sweet. 
There we go, there we go! Fish on, fish on! We're way out there too. Not a very big, this is a small fish. Is there even a fish on, or did it get off? Oh no, there's definitely a fish on there. What in the heck did we just catch? A baby young Wells catfish. 16 inch, 1.9 pound. I'm not even gonna keep that. <laughs> I mean, it's like, we're hardly getting any money from it, so we might as well let it go. There we go. Yeah, I set the hook and there was no tension. I honestly didn't even know if there was a fish on. <laughs> a lot of times when you do that, you feel the you feel your bait like pulling. Except for in this case here, we're using a shiner, but I don't think the shiner's still alive. So you're not gonna feel that, right? Which rod? Same rod, same rod, same rod! Same rod! Oh, this time we got a fish. You see that rod bending? That's how we have a bigger fish. Ooh. Another fish on! Another fish on! Can't do much about it right now though, guys. It's gotta be the third rod there. This fish is not that big, so we might be able to get him in in time. All right, we got him in. What did we catch? A trophy, European brown show! Another trophy! Epic, 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 epic. All right, I gotta get this rod in quick. Got him! That's another fish on. Another fish on. No freaking way! Another fish is hitting it! Dude, we're about to pull off a triple! We're straight up about to pull off a triple here. If I can somehow get this fish in, in time, we're about to pull off a triple. Another yells, uh, another Wells catfish, a young one. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. No more talking. Get him in. Yes, we did it. We got a triple. We officially got a triple. Another young Wells catfish. We officially have a triple. I don't think I've ever done this before. But let's calm down, because we still got to get this fish in. Whoa! Another European brown trout. 17 inch, two pound European brown trout. Not quite a trophy, but another beautiful fish. That's three fish in a row. And we caught them all. Again, it happens every time when I cast out with this rod. We've yet to have a single hit when I wasn't casting out this rod. Except for right away in the beginning, I think we got a hit. Like, honestly, as my second cast out there. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I really wish I could just grab that rod, but you can't. You got to reel it all the way in first. And then you can grab the rod. But we got him. Oh, 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 that's a big fish. Ripping out drag, ripping out drag like crazy, guys. Look at that. Rod's bent right in half and ripping out drag. You can feel the head shakes there. That's gonna be a big, big fish. Might even be a trophy. Yeah, the way that this thing is fighting and shaking his head. Oh man, that's a big fish. What kind of fish is it though? That's a freaking giant! No way! No way! A unique European brown trout. That's more rare and cooler than a trophy European brown trout. And we already have a trophy European brown trout. But a 24 inch, 5.7 pound unique European brown trout. I told you it was going to be a big fish. I didn't know it was going to be a unique European brown trout, but... I knew it was going to be something nice. And holy nice indeed. Look at the size of this incredible fish right here. And let's get an awesome picture of him as well. All right, I think that'll do. That'll do. Let's keep him 484 cash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another fish out. Oh, 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 guys. We got another trophy. That is definitely a trophy or a unique fish right there. It should be a Wells catfish as well. Holy. 
instantly set the hook, bent the rod right in half, and started ripping out drag. Oh, look at this fish. Oh, look at the freaking wake. It's like we're pulling in a shark. It's honestly, what are, what do we have? What the heck did we just catch? Oh, a European eel. Look at that thing. I knew there was something up with it. All right, let's uh, examine it, but we are not going to keep it because I don't want to get a penalty. But yeah, there it is. The strangest looking fish ever that we might have caught in Fishing Planet. <laughs> Look at that thing. A 46 inch, six pound unique European eel. Don't take this fish to avoid the fine. Why would I get a fine? $10,000 fine. Are you crazy? I can't afford that. $10,000 fine. Yep. We are letting him go. We do not need to pay that fine. Oh my God. 